boom, a favorite of like my brother and I uh, that are finished. And I need to make sure not to walk into the garage. The most fun I've had with the Vision Pro is when I was building things for the Vision Pro. So I thought I would jump back into that now that I've been playing with Cursor. The past few weeks, I've prototyped things on the web, an iOS app, a macOS app. They're all pretty tiny apps, and I thought I would do the same with this Vision Pro demo. So here we go. The prototypes I made for iOS and iPad were viewers to view my Kindle highlights. I figured I'd be able to get something pretty quick doing the same thing for the Vision Pro. So I made it my goal to do that. Some quick thoughts on actually coding with the Vision Pro or using it as the display at least. The ultra wide makes it worth the comfort trade-off. I did buy the Belkin top strap after seeing this Tim Urban post where he talked about how he's using like this custom strap that he has. Okay, back to the project. So first I took the trusty highlights.csb file and dropped it into the project folder. From there, it was time for prompts in cursor and then checking the preview in Xcode. So that was my setup. I had the ultra wide and then I had cursor in one half and then Xcode in the other half. Getting it to display highlights in the list was pretty straightforward. That kind of worked right off the bat, but I wanted them to display as cards. So I put a basic layout together in Figma with the cover, the title, the author. I pasted this into cursor and it got the rough layout correct. It was still showing it in a list, but I needed to clarify that I wanted individual cards. Then going from that to getting a basic carousel was pretty straightforward. I was picturing this more as sort of a curved screen kind of thing where the cards would rotate around me. I thought it might be difficult to get the parent container to curve, so I just tried to get the individual cards to rotate a bit as I scrolled. This is one of those things where it was really nice to see how fast it is to get started. Because with something like an animation, it's nice to tweak bits and pieces, but getting those knobs there in the first place can take some time. So this really sped up that process. So without that assistance and limited time, I probably would have just punted and then never got back to trying. So I had a rough list view going. I wanted to have a detail view for the individual books. Another thing that I loved about using cursor is that it removed the friction for setting up a preview. So I knew for the detail view, I needed to set up a different app view. And to set the preview up for that, then I figured I would need some mock data that represents what's actually being provided by the JSON file for the book highlights. And because it has the context of the project, it was able to just create that preview with a single prompt and also create mock data. And having that preview creates a really quick feedback loop. So I don't have to build and run the whole app on the Vision Pro to just tweak things and modify different views. So that was coming along, but it was still pretty much a list and detail view. And this is something that would kind of be the same experience in the Vision Pro as it would be on an iPhone or an iPad. I wanted a little bit more, at least using the 3D space a tiny bit. So I thought I would just place the book covers in 3D space. I wanted to tap to view highlights from the book, but I couldn't get that working and ran out of time. If I tried again, I'd probably try to separate that out and focus on just getting it to work on one book in a separate view. All right, so here we go. So I've been using cursor kind of like most of the morning. Uh, build succeeded. Here I can look through, through highlights. I guess it's then you can go here and then see this view with all the different highlights that I have and tap show immersive space. Then you can get a sampling. I just limited it to a hundred. So it's limited to a hundred books right now. Um, and I can show like, let's, let's try to make th this placement is a little bit like too high right here. So I would want it a little bit lower and we can go here. I think the Y is too high. So let's go 0 0.1 to 2 meters, I guess. No, let's go 1.5 meters. So you can scroll here go back and then we'll get the sampling of books. And now it's more like a hallway where I can walk through it. And here we go, the old uh, Khabib biography right here. Let's see. So this is the most recent book that I've been reading is The Wide Wide Sea, or I, I guess the most recent one that I just finished, Designing Your Life. And then boom, a favorite of like, my brother and I. Uh, that were finished and I need to make sure not to walk into the garage. There we go. And then, yeah, an interesting thing here is that they don't like, they don't have, they don't have the backs. So something to fix, I guess. But what would I show on the back? Maybe show a highlight on the back. Pretty cool. 